Okay, so I'm going to show you another way to use your gel prints up. Uh, not, not large pieces of them, but uh, I make these. They're very simple to do. This will be a short video to show you how to do it. And that was made with one of my gel prints. You can buy these on Amazon. Um, they are the bezels and they come with the glass to go on the top of the bezels. So let's do a couple of these. Let's do these two. Now they also come with these um, d darker toned ones which I do use, but what I, what I will do, because a lot of my gel prints are um, transparent colors, I'll put a piece of white paper underneath, and I'll glue that down before I glue the top down. But let me show you. So I have these two with the glass that goes with it. The set comes with a piece of glass for every bezel you get. And like I said, I'll put a link, at, uh, well, I don't know if I said it, but I will put a link to this, to the Amazon where I got it. But you can get it from other jewelry places. I like this one because it's got a little loop where you can hang things down from it, too. Okay, so what you do is get your gel prints. And I use the glass to go around and audition and see if you can find an area that you really like that you think would make a nice... Now a lot of these um, that I, I'm doing with the smaller stencils work really well. As you can see there's lots of places on there where I could get a good necklace from. Also I've done some with stamps over the gel, plain, plain gel prints. And see you can go in there. You could get something nice from there. That one's pretty cool. But just audition your gel prints. See what you can find. And then they can be, you know, wild and crazy. At the end, I'll show you the ones, because I've been doing this for a couple of days, and I'll show you the ones at the end that I, that I did earlier. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, you can see those. But as you can see, you just go through till you find something you really, really, really like. This is the hard part for me, but I think we're going to go with, I don't know, this one here. With the combination of the teal and the blue and the yellow. Kind of like that. Now I've already, I've already cleaned off these um, glass and my fingers are nice and clean. I cleaned the glass with alcohol, an alcohol rub. To make sure it was no greasy, no stickiness to it. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take that section. Let me zoom down so you can see. See that little section there? I think that's the section I'm going to take. Now the two products that I use to attach this. Pardon my lens cap falling. Man, I hate the zooming down and back. There. The two products I'm using. The diamond glaze to adhere, the diamond glaze from Judikins to adhere the paper to the glass and then to seal the back of the paper that's on the glass. And then crafter's pick is what I'm, I used to use the E7000 or whatever it is, the jewelry um, glue, but that stinks so bad and it gives me a headache. And I found this one, somebody told me about this one and I've tried it. And it's a, it says it's a super glue, and it really is, but it doesn't stink, and it's, you know, it's not as, it's not toxic. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't eat it, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to get a headache from breathing in this. Oh, it does say only non-toxic water-based water -based super glue. But anyway, so I decided on that right there. So I'm going to take a small amount of this and put, press it down. Now you get a minute to work with this, just press it slowly so you don't get a lot of bubbles and you don't want tons of this stuff. You don't need it. Now I'm going to press down really hard and make sure I've got a, I've got a minute to move it around and make sure I got what I wanted. And that's about what I wanted. Now I'm, I'm going to leave it alone and let it dry. We'll do another one with that oval. I'll show it to you again. 
Oh, now I have to pick something else. Well, the ones I did earlier were all red hot. Oranges and reds and yellows. So I was looking for something different. Let's go. Ooh, this looks interesting. All right, I'm going to move this one out of the way. And now we'll pick something for this one. Uh, you can just do black and white too, I guess, but I don't want to. I like this purple and red and that over there is pretty too. See, this just, I mean, you'll be spoiled for choice. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's just do that. Or that. That's much better. Or that. That right there is good. Oh, my mind is not working today. And don't worry too much about the bubbles, because when you press down real hard, those bubbles are going to go away. I'm just putting a thin coat here. going to lay my bez my glass down and move it around to like I don't want that right in the middle but kind of like that right there now I'm going to get a q-tip and very gently without touching the glass at all just clean anything that's sliding over the edge but I don't want to rub it onto the glass and I'm going to do the same thing with the other one although that one's not too bad all right, now these I'm going to put up and let them dry. And while they're drying, here's the two bases for those. I'm going to use just a little bit to seal. And the reason why I do this is because I've heard that if you leave the glass, if you leave the metal bare without like sealing it with this stuff, you might end up with it discoloring the, the paper. Now, since it's just a base metal, I guess I, that makes sense. So all I'm doing, you can barely see that, I'm sure. I'm gonna come down. But all I'm doing is doing a little, like I said, you can barely see it, just a little bit and making sure I'm covering that metal. Sliding it back and forth. And I, I can do this with a toothpick too. There you go. Okay, so these are dry. And I did a light coat on the back of them. And let that dry so that they are coated back in front. And they're all dry. And I did, like I showed you, a light coat on the inside of these to seal those off well. Now let me show you how to put them together. Easy peasy. Now I'm just going to take my scissors, as you can see, cut along the glass. I'm cutting them at an angle, as you can see, so I'm, I'm getting as close to the glass as I possibly can. And I once again, I've cleaned my fingers so that I don't have any residue on them. See, I'm just cutting this tight as I can around this. Now, can you see that? I don't want to get too close because I know it won't focus if I get too close. But now I'm going to go back around again to make sure I got it all. And what you don't get, you can take a... You can take one of these files and file away anything you don't get. But just don't make sure you don't file the glass. Make sure you just file the paper that's around it. But I only see one little edge I didn't get on this one. But can you see I got that pretty tight now? I'm going to do that to all of these. And they're all just about the same. Just go around the edges. Ooh, 
This one's probably not as dry as the other ones were. But I can clean off my scissors afterwards. Just don't want to get fingerprints with glue on your glass. When I'm done, I will clean it with um, alcohol. Can you see how that one come out? And I've got another light here trying to help this light situation because I notice when I zoom in, it goes dark because you're coming farther away from that light. I want to show you one other thing that I did. I, I couldn't find a, an, an interesting spot, so what I did was I cut... Can you see that's a piece of a different gel print and that's a different gel print and put on top of the, the last one? And this isn't quite dry, so I'm not going to cut that out. But So I did a little collage there with that one. You'll see that in the final pictures, though, when that one's done. But now what you're going to do is I'm going to get a toothpick to help me squish it around. I'm going to shake up my glue. And I'm using the crafter's pick to um, glue it down to the bezel. Now, remember, the, the inside of this bezel has been coated with diamond glaze and let dry. There's been diamond glaze to... Uh, Adhere that to the paper, adhere the glass to the paper, and a light coat of diamond glaze on the back of it. So, I'm just going to put a glob of this in the middle and move it around. And you don't need a lot. You can move it around with a nozzle, but unfortunately that clogs up the nozzle. So, you don't need a lot of this glue. It really is a super glue. But I want to get it all the way to the edge. I just don't want it up too high on the sides. Because if you get it too high on the sides, when you push it down, it's going to come glopping out. That's not something we really want. But it's, it's easy to clean it off. Can you see I'm getting a nice coating going along the edge to make sure I got all the way to the edge? And I'm going to take my cabochon. I have to decide which end is up. I want the blue kind of pointing up. All right, now I'm going to push it down. Make sure my fingers are clean. You can use a piece of paper if you're not 100% sure, but I'm going to push it down for all I'm worth. I'm not worth much, but... And anything that's coming out the sides, you want to clean up immediately. Make sure it's set really well in there, because you might get confused. Wiggle it around to make sure it's not... And take the clean end of your toothpick and clean that off. Anything that came out. And I'll clean it with alcohol later, which will clean it up. But I'm making sure I'm getting all this the little bit that came out the edge cleaned up. Wasn't very much. But you don't want it out there. You don't want glops on your jewelry. A little bit up here. Am I off camera? Of course I'm off camera. But I'm just cleaning this edge up a little. Anything that came over that top. Can you see that? And I'll do this other one. Same thing. Put it on there, move it around with your nozzle. Now this one's a little more shallow, so it's going to be a little more picky. And I'm definitely going to not want to get it near the edge, because it's got that decorative edge. It's going to be harder to clean off, so I'm going to go take some of it off onto this paper on the side here. And I'd like to zoom in closer, but unfortunately if I zoom in closer, you're not going to be able to see anything because it'll get dark. Um, I'm going to take my Q-tip and clean that edge up off. Really clean it. Because it's going to be hard to clean that off when it's finished. Okay. Now I have to decide which is top, and I think the white is on the top. I'm going to put it down in the bezel. Now, beforehand, I made sure these, these fit perfectly. I mean, I haven't got one yet that didn't. All right, now I'm pushing it down for all it's worth. But I've heard other people say they've got ones that didn't fit very well. 
I should have one more bezel out here, but I don't know where it went to. Can you see that? Now that one doesn't have anything coming up, so I don't really have to clean it. Did a good job of getting the right amount of glue in there. Like I said, you really have to push them down though. Make sure they connect. This is a good super glue and it will stay connected. I mean, I've wore these pendants out. Really like that one. But that's what you do. And I have a bunch more of these in the house. And at the end of this video, uh, you'll see pictures of all of them. I might not get pictures of these three yet, but you'll see pictures of all the uh, other ones that I've done. Let me zoom down, maybe you can see better. I don't know. See these three better. Bring the light in a little further. Well, that didn't help any, did it? But anyhow, this is very easy, and as you can see, you can make some very pretty gifts with it. Um, I'll put the link to the um, supplies at the end of the video and I'm probably going to put this one up tonight um, so if you did want to do this you know you have some time all right thank you very much if you like my video please put a like and help me grow this channel um, subscribe if you want to see more or, and put it hit the notification bell if you want to be alerted when more videos come up and uh, like I said, I will put the link to these so you can get them off Amazon at the, uh, in the description box below the video. Thank you very much for viewing my video and you have a lovely day.